All right, you guys, here's the last interview of the day. We're going to leave in about 10, 15 minutes, but I managed to catch up with Joe Luoma and Steve Maxwell. And the reason we're here now is we want to talk about Slingerland Black Beauties, the rare Slingerland Black Beauties. Now, you all know that we've just discovered another one, and I think we've got some other things to talk about. I may be wrong that this is number 13. I'm not sure, but we're going to talk about it right now. We're going to start with Steve Maxwell. This man is famous. He's got a, he's got a, a, a lot of a great stuff in his two stores. Where are those stores? In uh, Manhattan, Midtown Manhattan in New York, and in Naperville, Illinois, which is our Chicagoland store. Right. And these are, he has a lot of Craviato stuff, right? Craviato, largest dealer in the world, a lot of high-end vintage, a lot yeah. of Gretsch. We just talked to Johnny Craviato, and he's a great guy. But we want to talk about that Slingerland Black Beauty yes. that you've got. Okay. Tell us all about it. No problem. I have a 5 by 14 Slingerland Black Beauty. I acquired it about two or three years ago from a fellow I knew in upstate New York who had it for many, many years. He decided he needed to move it. He had to do about $20,000 worth of dental work. Ah. So it was time to move the Black Beauty. Ah. So anyway, I bought the Slingerland Black Beauty from him because it was so rare, obviously. So few examples exist. It was one that I wanted to have. I've got it. Have it for sale now. It's, uh, I don't mind keeping it because it's so few around. It's in yep. great shape. Uh, no complaints. All original. Everything's wonderful. And it's a great playing drum. And just a rare piece. Piece of history. Now, if you want to see a little example of this, it's on your, what your it's website, on my website. I believe. Yeah, I've uh, seen it. It's www.maxwelldrums.com. And it is up there under Slingerland Snare Drums. It's there. Now, do you have any idea? I'm trying to, we're, we're, the object of this page is to try to get a chronological order of, let's say, uh, maybe Bunny Carlos uncovered the first one. We're not sure. Johnny Craviato just in the hallway told us he thinks it might have been Jim Pettit. Not sure. But we've got Bunny, then we've got uh, Mike with his, and Dave with his wacky one that he found yep. that was painted. But uh, now this one has just, uh, just been uncovered, so let's go over here and see what you've got to say about your Slingerland Black Beauty. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this they is gave Joe me a Luoma, microphone, guys. So I, I you remember do Joe Luoma? Act. It has nothing to do with drums. Well, uh, <laughs> I, 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 uh, uh, let's see. You said there's about, well, how many are there? I thought there were 13, I've been told, but you surprised well, anyway, me. Anyway, do we know how many people uh, are the 13? Do, do we know the owners? Um, I've been owners? provided with some lists, but I can't say them all because not everybody, I, I haven't checked to see if everyone okay. wants their name, but you guys want to talk about it, and I'm glad to have you talk about it. But, okay, well, I, I'll tell you, I'm going to let you hold that mic a minute. Let me get this straight. <laughs> go you ahead. Get something go, straight. Folks, this is a, I know what he's going to do. This is a surprise. Go ahead. <laughs> now, I, if he's going to do what I, just have, just happens to have one laying around. Guys, this is a total surprise to me. Joe, you're blowing me away. <laughs> Here you go. That's a, that this one, is. I think that's this one. I think there's a picture of this one on a vintage drum forum. Okay. Under snare drums. Absolutely beautiful. And, uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful condition. Look at the black nickel. Uh, not, no pitting. No. Very nice. I, I, how would you grade this? Uh, and, Excellent. I'd say that, it's excellent. That is yeah. amazing. Excellent. And we have the, now these are the original uh, snare cables. The only thing is we don't have what, calfskin? We have calfskin on the top? or Yeah, there's, oh, yeah, yeah calfskin. Yeah. Uh-huh. Aren't you going to ask, Jim? I... Is there a vent hole? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is an old joke. We've since it goes corrected between this it. since last year. Uh... That's an old joke. Forget it. Uh, joke. We're just What's this hole here? We want to remind all you drummers to watch out for that. Please. Guys, uh, this is a total surprise to me. Uh, I'm so glad that you brought this, Joe, because uh, you blow me away. This, 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 this uh, is in beautiful the shape. Finish Doesn't look is at just the... so nice. Yeah. I can't believe it. Uh, I haven't seen yours up close, Steve. No, this one's much nicer than mine. You th okay, mine now this is, is in really, really nice shape, but this one is in unusually wow. clean condition. Wow. Unusually so. This is the cleanest one I'm aware of. Speaking of yeah. cleaning. Now, did you clean? I haven't touched the, the one in here, but have you cleaned yours or? I in the bathtub. I just you know throw some Dawn in there I... and float it around. And <laughs> that's all you have to do. I, I Dawn works on everything, I guess. Yeah, that's what I've yeah. been told. But no, it's just that... wiped off. That's wiped it. it off. It's that's wiped it. Off. Yeah. Now I'll ask you the same question. So that finish, that that condition, you don't have to. Yeah. That's what is how you the want history behind? What is the history behind this one? 
Where uh, did it come from? Uh, are you allowed to say? That or? one, yeah, it came from a fellow out east. And there's people who just don't want to let other people yeah. know that they let right. the drum go. So it's, uh, but that one came from out east. And uh, yeah, and uh, uh, it's a nice, yeah, it's a beautiful drum. Yeah. Now, so, what we're going to try to do in the future is try to actually track down, okay, when did you get this and when did you get yours to see the order in which they surfaced. Now, we know the one that I found out is the last one. Yeah. That, that has surfaced, okay? Right, right. Now, I'm going to ask a stupid question. This is the only one you have? Well, this is the second nicest one I have. Okay. The I other guess. one looks the same, except even the, it's it's even brighter, and the engraving really blows out. It's just a really bright engraving. He has two of them. Like uh, John Aldred said, he said it was just the way they engraved it. They really dug in on it. Yeah. He saw it. And he said, for some reason, the engraving just blasts out on it. Now, this in the right light, you can see it. Some light, it's a little bit hard on Black Beauties to see. I don't know about yeah, the lighting. Yeah, kind of lighting, right. Yeah. Uh, from what I'm so, seeing, man, that's, that's really, a, that's very, very good shape. Yeah. And you're saying the other one is a little less? It's nicer. It's nicer that's than That's probably it. the nicest one there is. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, now, what we're hoping to they do. They both came from the same guy. And this is one let, let go first. Then the, the last one was. So that means there are 14. Well, this might have been one of the original 13. I think it was. So I don't. I don't know well, if we'll add thing. to it. Well, here's the thing. I left. I was told there were 12, which would make this one that I want you guys to take a look at. These two might have been included in that number, though. For I the only previous had, owner. I had Dave Brown for a five and a half and a, and a six and a half. Mike Corrado for a five and a half and a six and a half. And those are the only people I have that had two of them until I found this out from you. Okay. Well, but we're saying there's 12 of them. You learn something how do new we know, every day. How do we know who has them? And maybe we move this here, and I want to just show okay, you guys. Okay, yeah, let's take a look here. That's let's, I want you guys to comment. Let's see where number 13 or 14, whatever number this is. Here we go. Drum let's, roll. Let's have a look. Guys, Drum roll. What do you think? Oh, this one's a lot bigger than mine. Look yeah, at the size look at the that. size. Of <laughs> that, that's an 18-inch drum right there. and I. Okay, now. The 18 inch is the rarest. That's, now, I haven't wiped it off. You hold nothing. the mic. Yeah. I'll hold the mic, okay. Look at it. Here we go. Yeah, look, look at how that. Look that drum Jeez. is. Oh, that's a big one. That's very nice. <laughs> well, this is the marching version. Oh, the but. color's very nice. The engraving's very nice. All right. And we do have some pit, some pitting or, or chipping in the uh, black nickel. Well, it's 80 years. Let's make yeah, yeah. Give them a break, right? Beautiful photos, too. I love it. Yeah. I love well, what you can do with Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't. No, it's a beautiful. Drum. It's a shame I, I couldn't bring the drum with me, but this was the next best thing. But that what we, is beautiful. Yeah. What I hope to do is post pictures of yours, yours, and Mike. They've agreed to send me pictures. We're going to put them up on this Slingerland page and start okay. getting comments about them. Okay. And trying to grade them and date them and see who, which one was number one, maybe. And Did which you say date them? Well, you mean chronological. I am very okay. passionate for vintage drums, yeah, but okay. I don't Let's... need to actually go on a date with them. But so, anyways, I'm not even going to mention Ventol. <laughs> oh, okay. So these are just some various. We're going to start working blue here. What do you think, Steve? Oh boy, we're taking this act on the road. A lot road. of kids okay. are going to be watching yeah. this show here. <laughs> now this. Oh, I love the I love the reddish glow. Yeah, in that. Oh, well, that's a beautiful flow. This is beautiful going, photo. This is going beautiful. to be put into Modern Drummer magazine, and along with Mark Cooper's article that he's working on. Oh, really? He's doing something on engraved drums. Now, here's one with better light. Yeah, okay. you can see. Now, now you, can, you see. can see. Yeah, you can see where the... Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. it'll be interesting when Mike posts his, Dave posts his, and we can look at and sort of grade them and number them if it's possible. I don't know if that's possible to do. Because uh, how, how can we say which came first. So I was told Jim Pettit had the first one and Bunny bought that or something, but yeah. it'd be interesting at least to start the ball rolling and get a little community together of Slingle and Black Beauty owners. We could have a club. That's what we would have. We would have our own cards. And, there you go. Sure. We could have meetings. <laughs> so I'm trying to make it stop, so I'm going to sign off. This is Jim Messina, Joe Luoma, Steve Maxwell, Slingle and Black Beauty Club, you guys. Hey, hey. We'll see you from the Chicago show, 2011. That's great. We're a club. See you next year. Bye. We'll see you in Vegas next week. <laughs>